Hi, it's Drew Allen with the Calgary Home Sale Channel, and today we're going to talk about something that affects many of us at some point in our lives, moving to a new city. If you're considering making Calgary a new home, then this video is for you. Calgary is a wonderful city with plenty of opportunities, but there are some things you may or may not have heard. So let's dive in and find out what you need to know before making the big move. First up is the weather. Calgary is known for its unpredictable weather. Summer is short, but it can be hot with days over 30 degrees Celsius. Yes, winter is cold. You'll hear a lot about wind chill factor out here, uh, where it could be bone chilling cold already outside on the thermometer, but the weatherman's gonna tell you it'll feel five to 10 degrees cooler because of the wind. Just get ready for it. The real shock though, can be the Southern weather changes that happen regardless of the season. Middle of February can have mild weeks with sunny days in the plus temperatures. And at the same time, it could be snowing in June to so just make sure you're prepared for anything. Yeah. Like, don't take your snow tires off before May long weekend anything. It's not unusual for winter temperatures to hover on minus 22 degrees C before the weekend. And let's say a day or two into the following week, it could be a balmy plus five or plus six. Any Calgarian will tell you if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. Next on the list is traffic. Calgary is a bustling city and during rush hour, you can expect to spend some time in your car. The city is constantly growing and while this is Great for the economy, it can mean a lot of drivers who themselves are new to the city. This could be, of course, a challenge whether you are a new driver or an established Calgarian. Getting around could be challenging to you. If you're moving from a smaller town, just be aware of it. It can take you, let's say, probably 40 minutes from top to bottom of the city. If you're driving on the major highways to over two hours, depending on the time of day and the weather. Now, if you're moving from Toronto or Vancouver, just forget everything I said, traffic here is fine. Public transit is split between the city's buses and Calgary's light rail transit or C train. A combination of the two will get you to almost every corner of the city, but there's no underground. So many times your stops will mean you could be waiting outside in Calgary's again, unpredictable weather. Just dress for it. Now for the good news. Calgary has a strong economy and plenty of employment opportunities from the energy sector to technology and beyond. There's something for everyone. The city is also home to many startups, making it a great place for entrepreneurs and is even regularly used for movie and TV locations. Just before and after the COVID pandemic, Calgary's downtown and commercial real estate has been a bit hit or miss. But if you do, you find yourself downtown, equate yourself with the walkways that connect many of the buildings in the core. This plus 15 network makes it a whole lot warmer to walk around downtown during the winter months. With all the interest in the city, residential housing prices have been quite stable compared to many other markets across Canada. While housing prices went down significantly on the east and west coasts, Calgary and other Alberta cities saw an overall increase in house prices despite rising interest rates. We can't talk about Calgary without mentioning its outdoor activities. From skiing and snowboarding in the winter to hiking and camping in the summer, the city is a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts. Built as the greatest outdoor show on earth, the Calgary Stampede happens over 10 days every July and attracts over 1 million attendees. It's based around a rodeo and a midway carnival, but the energy extends to all types of music and events with something for everyone. Businesses even get involved to the max. You can come here and get a free stampede breakfast every day during the festival. If you know where to look, once the stampede is on and you get into stampede fever, you are likely to find yourself in a cowboy hat and boots. I have a couple. The city is more than just cowboys and country music though. Outside of Stampede Week, there are lots of amazing restaurants and great pubs, plus nightlife to take in. So you can always find something to do again, once you know where to look. There are also two major sports teams here. The NHL has the Calgary Flames, who play at the Saddle Dome, and the CFL has the Calgary Stampeders, who play Canadian football at McMahon Stadium. Fans are passionate about their teams. You'll show your support for either of them by wearing red. There are over 10 major hospitals in Calgary, including Alberta Children's Hospital, and there are around five public post-secondary institutions in Calgary, along with two major universities. Now here's a few bonus facts for you. It's rare for us to have a snow day, so the city's gonna move the snow. If it's you think it's gonna shut down anywhere else, it's not here, okay? They will move the snow for you, and you are expected to show up for work or school. 
Be aware, gravel is used to stop the roads from being too icy in the winter. So it's only a matter of time before your windshield gets a crack in it. You're not going to be able to escape that. Going west of the city will get you to the mountains. And if you're going east, stop at Chestermere Lake. Calgary's number one frenemy is Edmonton. Maybe because average house prices are a bit higher here than in Edmonton. I don't know. So anyway, there you have it. Everything you absolutely need to know before moving to Calgary. Whether you're a seasoned city dweller or first time mover, uh, this city has something to offer everyone. I hope this video has been helpful to you. And if you have any more questions about the city or if there's something about the city you heard about that I might have forgot, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. My name is Drew and I'll catch you in the next video.